I forgot to do any recording this morning. <laughs> I was distracted by other things. Uh, but we did just leave the uh, Petro here in Tyre, New York. Town of Tyre, T-Y-R-E. That would be the English spelling, I believe. Uh, and I don't mean American English. <laughs> uh, so we're just getting on the interstate, I-90 West. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a, I guess the thing I was frustrated by, or frustrated, distracted by, what threw me out of my, uh, my routine, or if you wanna call it that. Um, if you recall yesterday, I stopped at that TA to get fuel um, for two reasons. One, I wanted to, I needed fuel. To get by just enough fuel to get me through New York, and I also wanted to get a shower credit because I figured I would be stopping, possibly stopping at. I didn't plan on there. I expected to get on another 80 miles to the TA. Um. Anyway, this morning when I logged onto my uh, app. Or TA Petro, Petro TA, whatever. Anyway, I got on the app and I was gonna, you know, book a shower. I had no credits, no shower credit. And I'm like, what in the heck? I don't know if there's a delay. Should have been immediate, but maybe there was a delay. I checked my receipt yesterday, uh, my fuel receipt, and it recognized my account. So it should have credited me the shower. So I'm hoping it's just a delay. Anyway, I didn't get my shower this morning. I'm gonna whine about it. Because I was looking forward to that. I need a shave. That's why you're not seeing me. I need a shave. Anyway, we're rolling on down the road. We'll stop a little farther somewhere. There's a flying J. I'm not gonna stop there just to grab a shower. I need to get on down the road. So I'll I'll head to somewhere where I've got shower credits. And uh, around about midday or so, I'll stop there. So for my 30 minute break, I'll do that. Okay, if this is TMI, we'll skip past all this. Well, I'm gonna stop here at this TA in um, Harbor Creek, oh, uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take a short break. And I may even get some more coffee. So we got through New York. And we crossed over into Pennsylvania not too long ago. So here we are.
fuel prices were even higher in Pennsylvania than they were in New York, which surprises me. But here, and I'll tell you, um, yesterday in New York at the TA, I paid 3019. A little while ago when I passed through Pennsylvania, it was 3359. Here, it's 275.9. So, definitely made the right choice to come here. taking a nap in his bed on the passenger seat. As soon as I hit these brakes, these air brakes, he's gonna freaking, freaking jump right out of that seat. All right, Hummer, what are you doing? Which one are you taking? Okay, I'm taking the other one then. Never back into a parking spot when you can do a pull through. And there he goes before I even got a chance to set the brakes. He's so funny. Well this day has just not gone as expected. Uh, I've been here three hours, and I haven't even got fuel yet. So here's what happened. As soon as I pulled in, and, and parked, I mean, as soon as I got parked, um, I saw there was a message on my phone call. So I looked at the message and saw that my next pickup had been changed. Instead of picking it up Today is the 5th, so instead of picking it up on the, the night of the 6th, or first thing in the morning on the 7th, after deadheading, I forget how far, um, it, now it got changed to the, the customer rescheduled the pickup for the 8th. Well, that threw my next load out of whack. I couldn't do that. Because I, you know, I had, yesterday I had booked two loads and, to make it for a decent week revenue wise well that screwed the pooch so I spent almost an hour it seems like on the load board it had to be an hour on the load board you know I'm not gonna go on all the stuff it was a pain in the neck I made some mistakes I had to get the other ones pulled off anyway I got those two loads pulled off then I made some mistakes I had to get those loads pulled off then I had to schedule two different loads. So, I got them scheduled. Um, still picking up. I got a little leeway. The, the next one I'm picking up probably the morning of the 7th. So, the morning after next. And uh, picking that up. I'll cover that later. Anyway, it all works, all works out. Revenue-wise, it works. Kind of got to hustle a little bit. Today's all screwed up. 
I'm still going to get as far, at least as far as I needed to. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I got to get fuel. Kitty wants down, and I got to get rolling. All right, we are all fueled up and ready to roll. said this morning I only need to cover 238 but I, now I'm thinking I need to cover more miles today so I'm going to plan on covering more than that anyway the other thing I didn't mention this morning where I was whining about not getting to a shower or not having a shower credit at the TA having to stop here later in the day for a shower and then and basically, that's stuff that happens out here on the road. Best laid plans of mice and men and all that other stuff. Stuff like that happens. And you kind of get screwed on your planning. And then you got to make major adjustments, potentially. Well, then, of course, the load that I wanted, or I already had two loads booked, and those got canceled. So now I had to deal with that, and that wasted over an hour uh, dealing with that. So while the shower time that I did just now, um, I would have used that, that time up this morning, although I wouldn't have used my clock time. I would not have been taking a shower while I was on my 14 hour day clock. I wouldn't have started until after I got out of the shower. So that's one thing. It's not a big thing. But it's just a factor now that I had to take into account. Um, and fueling would have happened there, no matter what. That was that was more or less a planned fuel stop. That was going to happen. No matter all the other stuff that went wrong today, that was still going to happen. So really the big thing was, well, a minor thing was not being able to get a shower at the beginning of the day off the clock and instead having to do it on the clock here. Secondly, and that's the bigger thing, is having to adjust to uh, having my loads, my loads canceled basically. And having to find and book new loads. And sometimes that goes quickly, sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, alright, enough of that. Rolling down the road. We're in Ohio. East of Cleveland, about 35, 40 miles east of Cleveland. Cleveland! Every time I hear that or say that, I can't help but say it. Cleveland, even in my mind. Um, in the voice of Howard the Duck. So for those of you who know who Howard the Duck is, and watch that movie.
what is this place? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland? Uh-huh. Well, this is Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> uh, we're on the uh, lake shore over here on the right. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to click the like button. Not only does this let me know that you liked it, but it tells YouTube that they should promote it to others. This really helps me out. If you enjoy watching my over the road trucking adventure videos, please subscribe and then click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are available.